What do YouTube? V Kelly back again with another banger video. And in today's video, y'all, I am going to be taking a look back at the top 10 quarterbacks in the 2019 recruiting class according to the 24 7 sports composite rankings. In this video, I will be seeing how they've panned out from the first time they stepped foot on campus to present day. This is a class that I wouldn't necessarily say was the most talented class for top 10 quarterbacks that we've seen recently, but it was a group of quarterbacks that seemed like they would have a really good chance at being the next future star quarterback at the school they were going to attend. Now before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. Coming in at the number 10 spot for quarterbacks in the 2019 recruiting class, we have Max Duggan, who ranked as a 4-star recruit and the 229th best player in the nation and the number 1 player from the state of Iowa. He would end up committing to TCU. Max Duggan has pretty much been a starting quarterback for the Horned Frogs at TCU his entire 3-year career there so far. He was not a starter when he first got there, but after two games in the regular season in 2019, Max Duggan became the starting quarterback for the Horned Frogs, and he's been a pretty solid quarterback at that. He hasn't been the best quarterback in the Big 12, but he's been a very reliable quarterback for the Horned Frogs, and he's even had some moments where he's put them on their back in some games. In his career, he has completed 59% of his passes, thrown for 5,920 yards, 41 touchdown passes thrown, and 20 interceptions. And on the ground in his career, he has rushed for over 1,433 yards, averaging 4 yards per carry, and 19 total touchdowns. And honestly, he's a quarterback that I could see taking a leap in 2022 with this new coaching staff that TCU will have. The number 9 quarterback in the class was Tyson Pumachon, who ranked as the 216th best player in the class and a 4-star recruit who would end up committing to Clemson. Unlike a lot of the recruits in this video, he has not exactly been the luckiest with playing time in his college career. In his three-year career at Clemson, including a redshirt season, he has played in a total of 12 games as a backup quarterback, where he has completed 46% of his passes thrown for 204 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. He is currently in the transfer portal as of right now, and he's been a backup quarterback to Trevor Lawrence and DJ Uwe Ungalaleli. The number 8 quarterback in the class was Talia Tagovailoa, who ranked as a 4-star prospect and the 180th best player in the nation. He would go on to go to Alabama, where his older brother was playing, Tua Tagovailoa. He would only play one season at Alabama, which was his true freshman season in which he redshirted. He was mainly the third string quarterback most of that season, but once his older brother went down with injury, he was the second string quarterback behind Mac Jones. He only played in three games as a member of the Crimson Tide before transferring to Maryland. In his first season at Maryland, he was a starting quarterback for the Terrapins. He only played in four games because, well, the season was shortened because of the pandemic, a very weird one at that, and Tagovailoa had his fair share of ups and downs. He had his moments where he seemed good and moments where he seemed off. It was his first season as a starting quarterback after all. He had seven touchdowns and seven interceptions and threw for 1,011 yards in four games played. But in this past 2021 campaign, his second year as a starting quarterback for Maryland, honestly, it probably wasn't talked about enough, but he had a quietly sneaky good season. He completed 69% of his passes threw for 3,860 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. And honestly, I can see him improving from 2021 to 2022. The number 7 quarterback in the class came from the state of Washington, and that's Dylan Morse. He ranked as a 4-star prospect and 171st best player in the nation, and he decided to stay home and go to Washington. He would redshirt as a true freshman in 2019, but once 2020 came by, Dylan Morris was a starting quarterback for Washington, but he only played in 4 games because of the pandemic and a shortened season. So he saw a very small sample size in which he completed 61% of his passes, threw for 897 yards, 4 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. He did have more expectations going into 2021 now that he was in the system and not going to be in a shortened season like he was in 2020, but honestly he struggled quite a bit in 2021 
as in 11 games played, he completed 61% of his passes, threw for 2,458 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. And he's not even guaranteed the starting job for 2022, as he's going to be in a quarterback battle for that starting spot. This next one might surprise you. But the number 6 quarterback in this class, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite rankings, was Sam Howe, who ranked as the number 93 player in the nation and a 4-star prospect, and he would go on to play for North Carolina. Sam Howe was a 3-year starting quarterback at North Carolina, and the starting quarterback the entire time that he was there. And he was a great quarterback at that, and a top quarterback in college football while he was in college. In his three-year career, he completed 64% of his passes, threw for 10,283 yards, 92 touchdowns, and 23 interceptions, while rushing for over 1,000 yards and 17 total touchdowns on the ground. Although he didn't have the 2021 campaign like many thought he was going to have, potentially being a Heisman winner, he did show that he can be a quarterback that can use his legs more on the ground and not just be looked at as more of just a passing quarterback. He's had a really good career at North Carolina, and he's the only person in this entire video who will be playing in the NFL in 2022. Now, on to the top five quarterbacks of this class. Coming in at number five, we have Graham Mertz who ranked as a four-star prospect and the number 65 player in the nation, and he would go on to play at Wisconsin. As a true freshman in 2019, he would end up redshirting, only playing in two games. In 2020, however, it was finally his time to shine for Wisconsin, and it was time for him to show Badger Nation what he was about. In seven games played, he completed 61% of his passes, threw for 1,238 yards, 9 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, and he showed some really good flashes here and there. He had some hype heading into 2021 as a potential Heisman dark horse and someone that was going to push Wisconsin over that edge. Well, in 2021, he was really disappointing, and it seemed like he held Wisconsin back quite a bit. As in 13 games played, he completed 59% of his passes, threw for 1,958 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. And honestly, he needs to have a better 2022 campaign, or his time as the starting quarterback at Wisconsin could be coming to a close. Coming up as the number four quarterback in this class, it was Ryan Holinsky out of California. He ranked as a four-star quarterback and the number 64 player in the nation, and he would go on to go to South Carolina. In 2019 for South Carolina, Ryan Holinsky came in as the backup quarterback, but when starting quarterback Jake Bentley went down with injury, Ryan Holinsky was the starting quarterback, and he started in 11 games, and he played pretty decent as he completed 58% of his passes, threw for 2,357 yards, 11 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. After that season, he was expected to be the future starting quarterback for the Gamecocks, but that wasn't entirely true as in 2020 he was the backup quarterback and only appeared in two games of tempting six passes. 2020 would be his last season as a Gamecock, and he would end up transferring to Northwestern. In his one lone season so far at Northwestern, he started off as a backup, and he did start in some games and was a backup in others. And in nine games played, he completed 54% of his passes, threw for 978 yards, three touchdowns, and four interceptions. And he's expected to compete for the starting job for 2022. Coming in as the number three quarterback in the class, we have Jaden Daniels, who ranked as a four-star prospect just outside the five-star rankings at the number 35 spot in the nation, and he would go on to play at Arizona State. Jaden Daniels, just like a few others in this video, came in as the starting quarterback for Arizona State, and he impressed many in his true freshman campaign in 2019, where in 12 games played, he completed 61% of his passes, threw for almost 3,000 yards, 17 touchdowns through the air, and only two interceptions. He also rushed for over 350 yards and had three touchdowns on the ground. He had a solid 2020 campaign that was only four games long, and he was expected to make a jump in 2021, but honestly, he was slightly disappointing in 2021, as he seemed to struggle more in the past game, 
as he threw for 2,381 yards and had 10 interceptions and 10 touchdowns. But this was by far his best season on the ground with 710 rushing yards and 6 touchdowns on the ground. And as of the recording of this video, he is currently in the transfer portal. Coming in at number 2 for this quarterback class and the first 5 star in this video, we have Bo Nix who ranked as the number 33 player in the nation and he would go on to play at Auburn. Bo Nix would come into Auburn as their starting quarterback for 2019 and he was a 3 year starting quarterback at Auburn before transferring out and where he is now currently Oregon where he's projected to be their starting quarterback in 2022. The best way to describe his career at Auburn in one word is inconsistent. He's had his moments at Auburn where he seems like a really good player and other moments where he kind of just, well, seems like Bo Nix. He's had his highs of highs at Auburn and his lows of lows. And in his career as an Auburn Tiger, he completed 59% of his passes through for 7,251 yards. 39 touchdown passes thrown, 16 interceptions, and 18 total touchdowns on the ground. Now, on to the final quarterback in this video. The number one quarterback in the 2019 recruiting class is none other than Spencer Rattler, who was a 5-star and ranked as the number 11 player in that class and would go on to play at Oklahoma. Spencer Rattler would be a red shirt in his true freshman season, only playing in three games, where he played sparingly as the backup quarterback. In 2020, he was the starting quarterback for the Oklahoma Sooners, and despite early struggles, he would finish the season really strong and would be seen as a top quarterback in college football as he completed 68% of his passes through for 3,031 yards, 28 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions, as well as 6 touchdowns on the ground in his redshirt freshman campaign. Heading into 2021, he had all the hype of the world, and it seemed like he was destined to be the next great college football quarterback, as he was seen as the Heisman favorite and a potential number one pick for the 2022 NFL Draft. His 2021 campaign, however, did not go the way that anybody thought it would, as he was the starting quarterback in the beginning, but he did have his times of struggle, and he would eventually be benched for true freshman quarterback Caleb Williams. And in nine games played in 2021, he completed 75% of his passes, threw for 1,483 yards, 11 touchdown passes thrown, five interceptions, and three touchdowns on the ground. And to no one's surprise, after the 2021 season, he would enter the transfer portal and he would end up transferring to South Carolina, where he's trying to revitalize his career and bounce back from 2021. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Kelly out.